you guys said on the podcast that this has been in a long time in the making. Um, what was the impetus to finally getting it started? Where did you, when did you finally go, okay, let's do it? I think it's just, you know, uh, uh, Donald had been approached by someone about doing it and he brought it to me and I was kind of intrigued and, and I didn't know that people would, would like it like they seemed to. Not, neither one of us thought it would be it's, like- It's amazing how many people have, you know, hit me up on the uh, social networks to tell, to tell me how much they appreciate the show. It's hilarious. Like all we're doing is talking, you know what I mean? And having a good time, you know, just talking about what we would normally talk about on the telephone. And right. if, if that, if people are interested in that, if people want to, you know, you know, know what Zach and I talk about, tune into the podcast. Cause that's, you know, it, I mean, it, it does give us an excuse to, to reminisce. And you're going to talk about specific episodes, right? As well? Are, are yeah, you, we go through the whole the structure of the show is that each episode we talk about a new one. I love that. I love that. Do you have any um, guests or friends of yours that you're going to be getting on anytime soon? I love that you just asked that. Are we allowed to talk about who we have coming I think up? We should do the big reveal of who we just closed moments before. We'll go the extra, the exclusive. Yes, please. We have the wonderful Scott Foley. Yeah, the show. Donald, always, Donald always introduces our guests in his Oprah Winfrey voice. You know, he was a really uh, beloved character on the show, and he's so darn handsome. I'm, I'm, I apologize that people won't get to see how beautiful he is. They'll just get to hear his, his voice. We've been having um, the, the, our co-stars on the show on. Of course, Bill Lawrence is going to be a recurring a guest because he's so darn funny, and it all came out of his brain. And, um, and you know, I eventually want to have crew people on, too, so it's not just the actors, but, you know, behind-the-scenes folks. I know you guys had some sad news this week and I'm so sorry to hear the loss of, of your co-star, Sam Lloyd. I just wanted to know how, how, would, how do you remember him? Like, what, how would you like people to remember him? Well, I just remember Sam being one of the uh, sweetest people, nicest mm -hmm. people uh, you'd ever meet. And he played a character on, on, on uh, television that he was nothing like. The one thing that they both shared in common was that, uh, Ted and Sam both could sing magnificently. And, uh, you know, one of my fondest memories was singing with Sam and his band. And they would take John Williams' songs and turn them into uh, like a four part a cappella harmony, uh, like yeah. tributes. And they had one for Superman and there was one for Star Wars. At one point, Sam made me a. CD of the music so I could study it and listen to uh, them singing. And he was just such a giving person and so wonderful and so nice and really, really funny. Mm -hmm. uh, and a very good athlete too. By the way, just speaking of that, you gave me goosebumps because speaking of how many people he touched, I mean, uh, Chance the Rapper of all people, um, you know, posted a beautiful uh, tweet about Sam and, and, and a nice tribute. And, and, he, and he, he linked to a video of Sam singing his cover of Hey Ya, the Outcast song. Uh, my last memory of Sam is that I saw him, um, it was just such a, a, a sad story because he was sick just when he had like found true love and had a baby. And it was just such a sad story. And then I heard he was doing better. And I saw him out and about with his wife and his baby and a big smile on his face. And I, I remember having this like relief, like, oh, thank God, like he pulled through that. And, and, then, I, and then the other day, uh, Bill uh, told Donald and I the news and I was just, just, it was just a punch in the stomach. Um, I just wanted to know how you're doing because I can't even imagine how hard that is seeing such a close friend fight, like the fight that he's been fighting. I don't know how to put it other than it is just a, it's a real life tragedy. Again, similarly with Sam, a, a, a young man who has a, a, a wife and a new baby and just bought his first house in LA. And this has struck him worse than anybody, anybody I know, of. anybody that I know. And sure. he had no pre-existing conditions. He was very healthy. His wife's a trainer. He's came out to LA to, to, to start doing um, more work, both with his music and obviously in, in TV and film. And he was, He's staying there. His family's been staying in my guest house while they uh, uh, house shopped. You know, he, he, he was just tired. He had no symptoms. He tested negative twice. And uh, then, they, then he got sick and he had trouble breathing. And they finally admitted him to the hospital. And he's, uh, they eventually had to uh, intubate him and, and put him on a ventilator. 
and he's been uh, unconscious on a ventilator for over a month uh, due to complications uh, related to clotting and, and, um, and, and uh, blood thinners. They had to amputate his leg to keep him alive. Um, but he has behind him an army. Amanda Klutz, his amazing wife, has mm. built this army of mm. cheerleaders. And we just need him to wake up now. We're, we're all just waiting for, for him to wake up. And there's been some good signs of late, but we're just, we're, we're waiting, you know, for this amazing, lovely human being to wake up and, and, and come back to his family. As, as, much as, as much as the outdoors are calling and everything like that, social distancing is so important. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.